Hello guys, it's me Z from uh, Wireless Solution and today uh, we are going to work on the Alcatel Furious 4 to show you how to we are going to bypass the Google verification account. So for this purpose we are going to type something, something random, press and hold it then you can see these three dots, select on this one, select assist now you are on this screen once you are on this screen so you will type setting once you go to setting so you will go to the security security and unknown source you will turn the unknown source on okay so we can download any software so it will not give you problem after that what you need to do you will go to apps in apps you will go look in for the look out here look out so you will disable it disable app clear it clear storage go back so you will go back once you are here so then you need to go to the you will search for Google Okay, so you will go back here. You will type Chrome. Once you enter on the Chrome, so here accept and continue. No thanks. Here you will type uh, test DPC search for it once you come here you will go down go down you will come here to test DPC 2.0.6 APK download click on this one once you click on this one go down download apk it's going to be downloaded it will take a few seconds update permission allow ok then open once you open it you will click on this one install wait for it in a few seconds it will be installed then open it once you open it it is a new new device owner encrypt so now plug in the charge and try again so we need to plug the phone in the charge to try the encrypt so let me show you how it works after this now guys you can see that I plug the phone into the charge so it's telling me that uh, can be encrypted encrypt the phone so it will take a few seconds a few moments while it's going to be restarted so just give me a few seconds while I pass the video so guys the phone is encrypting now so you will process these processes sorry I'm handling the phone in my hand so that's why it will give you a little problem so make sure the phone is plugged into the charge otherwise it's not going to be processed from that step okay guys the phone is now here so you will click next hit next okay wait for it
it may take a few moments while completing this process now set up ok now here what you need you need to restart the phone when once you are here you need to restart the phone okay now you need to skip add a new uh, add account with the name or just skip it finish now you are here so what you need to do go to the setting once you go to the setting then you need to go back up factory reset and reset the phone erase everything so now it's gonna take a few moments and uh, er the phone will be restarted and erase everything and then you can use your own phone okay as you guys can see the phone is being restarted i passed the video because it take a few seconds so that's why i I pause the video <coughs> now you need to skip everything and you will go to the main screen and you are good to go let me connect to Wi-Fi may take a little time So those guys who um, are uh, new viewers please subscribe my page my channel uh, and please share the video maybe you don't need this video but somebody else needs it It will take a little time because uh, we re restart the phone factory set so it's like doing every updates and checking every connections I'll pause the video while it's being processed so then I'll come back okay so I removed the internet from both of the way so in this way it's a little easy for us to skip that process now you should skip anyways and here you go with the new phone completely new everything you got it you bypass it thank you have a nice one enjoy your day guys and please like and subscribe my page and share it with your friends